Hey, welcome back. Footage got lost. I had uh, made a video about how I got this engine out. And it was horrible because it was... There's not much room here. So it's it was a lot of different things and a lot of things happening fast. And it wasn't very good. But at the end, the engine got out. And I'd like to show you what it looks like. A gaping hole that's left. And to give you a little points about what could be... You know, you see, in here is a hole. <laughs> we have we have the, the the engine mount at the back, and we have the engine mount here. These two are drive shafts, uh, drive axles, um, coming out from the differential. And in order to get them out, I took off the the shock absorbers in both ends and made the entire arm so loose that I could actually ease it out, uh, ease out the um, the drive shafts. Uh, or drive axles or whatever you call them. So, um, yeah, it was a struggle. Um, you see all this is cables. Uh, see that one there, and there's another one on top of that up here, up there somewhere, yeah. That's for the gear lever, and we got the starter here, and we have, well, I'll put the carburetor up there, just to, you know. And uh, the connection to the, um, the rotor and the, uh, the machine. In the engine and uh, this is the um, speedometer I think and there's a lot of little doodads and things that just you know mounted on it but in fact the engine was very very light it was like I think let's just say 15 pounds and that's it so remarkably light and uh, the oil that came out of it is uh, oh my god it's um, it's more like a uh, <laughs> black porridge really so I don't think that it's had its oil changes at the time that it was specified for it. So, <clears throat> but wait, what, what, what the hell? I'm gonna go to the workbench now. I'm gonna show you the engine that is out, so so we can uh, we can have a little look at that. Oh, another thing, I found that this here carburetor here is uh, actually um, well, it's not stock. Uh, it well, it is stock now, but. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. Well, this is actually a tuned one. Because the original is an 18 millimeter. And that has like a little piece of pipe sticking out of this one. And this one does not. So this one is a 19 millimeter. Which means that when we're looking at... Let's go put that here. So when we're looking at... The carburetor itself and the uh, and the cylinder as it was installed, it matches up, which is pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, if you put into a, a big piston and a big um, cylinder and you, and you don't push enough fuel and air in there, it, it just won't work. So this this is fine. This is very fine. So yeah, let's go to the workbench. I'll have to show you. Yeah. So um. As you can see here behind me, there's the engine right there. And uh, I had a look at the piston. So I decided to buy a few things. And I'll show you in a few seconds. But first, let me, let me show you another. This here be the crankshaft. You can see the size of my hand. It's, it's, uh, it's not that big, right? Okay, very, very small. This here be the piston. Again, it's a little, little thing. I'd like to show you what truck mechanics usually work on. So you can see that, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of fun actually for once to, to try and see if you can remember what you were taught when, uh, when you started out 25 years ago. So, um. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. Perhaps we should install this instead. That'll be great. So we have a two RPM, but uh, it'll pull up the hill no problem. <laughs> so, but you can imagine a thing like this, and you have a camshaft. Sorry, a crankshaft that weighs about fifty to hundred kilograms. Um, this thing, yeah. Wow, that's not too big. Okay, so let's walk over here. So, engines off. And you can see it's filled up with oil and shit. So 
The seal is probably broken. This here thing here is the rotor. And it's got markings, if you can see that right there. Yeah. And when I put that off, where there it is. And when I took it off, it was like this. So I'm thinking when I'm assembling this again, it'll be like that. Okay, right. So, but you see all this grease and all this oil here. Something has definitely sprung a leak. And I do suspect that one thing in the middle there. I mean, if you look at it, it's there's oil everywhere. And it can only come out one place and that's the seal, okay? Uh, and and what, as you can see, the, this, this is not too good. I mean, there must, of course, there's some play. I mean, it's, it has to be some, but this is this is ridiculous, right? So, yeah. So, so how to get this off? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I see that the engine block is uh, in twine, uh, taken out in two. So, so I have to remove all these uh, to to take off the lid here, and I probably also have to dismantle the um, the uh, rear shaft here. And there's there's a gearbox in here somewhere with all the the cogs and whatever so yeah so i did i did actually buy a few things well i said a few <laughs> because i figured this might have happened that's the starter uh so i bought a few items just to you know be sure that we got the things that we can to get this working again let's see uh firstly we got the seal kit and the bearings we got a lock um, washer, gaskets, another gasket kit. And I figured if, if this is wrong, if this is done, I might just as well buy a new one. So I bought a new one. This is also 102 cc. This is 102 cc. So I was kind of figuring if it's been upgraded to that, why not just don't keep it like that? I mean, yeah. So. In order to get all this out, especially the the um, the flywheel here, there's a special tool, uh, and I, I bought two. I bought a special tool for the flywheel, which is I'm sitting in there right now, uh, which you screw in, and then you just um, you know punch it out with uh, the bolt in the middle, like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the other one I'm suspecting is for the transmission or the um, the gears itself, or maybe perhaps the clutch, I'm not sure. And that is this one. So it's it's just the opposite way around. So we're gonna try and see if we can make that work. So let's get this degreased. Um taking the pot and degreased and let's see what happens. It's gonna be fun, yeah. I can't find my rig though, so I'll just stop in once in a while and explain to you what I've done. Um I hopefully that'll be alright. Otherwise, you guys just tell me, and uh, I'll just dismantle the shit again. And uh, <laughs> no, I'll I'll see what I can do. Uh, I mean, when I'm looking at it, it looks pretty simple. I mean, again, um, bolts has to come out, seal has to come out, um, and the lid can come off. There's the intake funnel here that can come out as well. There's an engine mount here that might be able to come out as well, and uh, yeah. Let's just let's just start there, yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll crack on, and any once in a while I'll stop and I'll give you an update. Cool. Let's get cracking. <sighs> Two hours in, <laughs> and it did not turn out to be that fucking simple. We had to remove the entire um, differential, the cover here for the clutch, because apparently. Um, the 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 tooth wheels on the on the on the opposite side of this is stuck to the wall on this. Okay, so if, let's see if I can get this up. Have a look. See, see right there. See, that's the gear, the big one, and right next to it, what the hell is it? Hang on. There it is. That one there is stuck to this. So. This has to come out in order to get that out. In order to get that out. And then we'd be done. <laughs> right. <sighs> and remember, folks, take lots of photos. 
because some of this does not make any fucking sense um, at all. Okay, so uh, do that. Do yourself a big fucking favor and do that. Okay, so okay, so I'm just gonna be cracking on. So far, I've dismantled most of it. See, this here is the the um the rear differential. It's all loose and it's all looks it all looks pretty good, except the oil does not really look. Uh, yeah, I had a milkshake the same size, same uh, same color. So, damn. Well, I'll be cracking on, and uh, well, you just uh, in a few seconds you'll see something else. Cool. So, I kind of came up to the first little little thing here I want to show you. So, in order to get the clutch out, we got to get this out. There's a pleasure plate or whatever that is right there. Yeah. Okay. But and it's it's snug. I'm sorry, this is snug. Something like this. But that disc down here is actually a locking disc. So. Before you try to do anything, remember to look for where that thing is, is bent up and turn it back down so you can get this bolt out. Not out, sorry. Right? Okay, so otherwise you'll just fuck up everything. And remember, don't get too much or actually none at all shit down here. That's that's a no-go. Alright, I'm going to crack on. And here comes the second special tool. You see the tools, that one, that tool there and the one for the uh, the flywheel. Came in a set, and I thought to myself, hmm, why would it come in a set? I probably need that. So, this screws in nightly, nicely. So, I'm going to take out this, and hopefully, we can get the lid off to the other side. Now, that would be fantastic. Whew. All right, here goes. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't share the Eureka moment with you guys, but, uh, oh, man, it came out. You see, the problem was clutch is in here right and with the clutch pull on blah 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 this thing here sits in that hole there from the opposite direction right and it's in here so if i put that back in here and i try to pull it out you can see what happens if i just remove my fucking finger there we go see it'll snag onto this and there's no chance in hell you can get the lid off unless you take the clutch off Darn it, right? So, okay, so the right way to do it, apparently, is to take off the, the, the differential, take off the clutch, and then go and take off the lid of the cover here. And Hang on. Where's the bearing? Um, where's the... Hang on. Oh, there you are. Hey, man, how you doing? <laughs> you you know what? You're not supposed to be there. You're supposed to be there. You know? Well, so this means I have to pull this one out, which is much easier now to get that there, the dust seal, whatever that out. And uh, hopefully this is just being, you know, just wipe the shit out of this and I'll get out. <laughs> just just be careful, guys. It is, it is aluminum or aluminum, wherever in the world you're from. Um, so take care and not, not fuck it up, okay? Just take it easy. I might do that, and I'll show you that I fucked up, and then it was a new engine, and, uh, well, yeah, well, I'll try, I'll try. Hang on. And another Eureka moment. It's out. <sighs> that took some effort. And again, you have to be careful, because this is, uh, aluminum, aluminum, again, in the world where you're from. Um... I'm trying to figure out a way to get that bearing out so that I can put in a new one. And I think I read somewhere that you um, heat up the element around it. So we'll just more or less just pop out. And uh, same goes to this. This needs a thorough clean though. Because this really don't look good. So, okay, so that'll be the next. The next is probably trying to get that bearing out. Uh, and this thing here will be discarded. Yeah, it has seen action. Cool. All right, so I'll just crack on. Ta-da! Bearings out. There was a uh, lock ring, bearing, and a dust seal. Yeah, and you couldn't see the uh, the lock there because of the dust seal. So we had to take that off first, and then that one thing there, and then wipe the shit out of this, and it's out. So now that dust seal there is going to come out, and. Uh, we're gonna put in the new bearings and uh, see um see if we can make it work. It'll be great. Dust boot is back in. 
and I remove this and as you can see I don't know if you can see it but it is dented in a strange way so there has been damage here and when you look at it it's well it will still work so let's just try and put in a new bearing and a new dust seal and uh and just and go from there cool <sighs> okay now that's in that's in the dust cover is on the opposite side so it'll be all be fine i cleaned this so we should be ready for the reversal which is well obviously the we're going to start with putting some so the cylinder in here uh the gearing is going to come back on there and doing the opposite way so so yeah you see there's this those grooves here and those grooves here have to correspond into these grooves here or the, the guide here yeah and uh we all remember this son of a bitch <laughs> so it all has to come in so when this is all in we can put the lid back on and Bob's your uncle. And then, of course, it's the differential and the cleaning of the outside of the engine will be commencing after all this. Because uh, putting this in the bathtub as it is right now, I think it's just, uh, it's a bad idea. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, yeah. I'll just put it back together and then I'm gonna clean it the outside after that. Okay, so cylinder, uh, crankshaft here gear here clutch thing with the jig here lit back on hopefully with the gasket all that yeah let's go first one's in and there's free play sounds real good cool <sighs> okay so far so good this was a fucking pain in the ass i'm sorry for all the cursing i'm sorry please forgive me okay it's just when you whack your hammer and when you whack your fingers with a hammer a couple of times you kind of get upset anywho um i hit a snag here when i had to to, to connect the two uh, lids together um i had to pull put the um the the the, the, uh, the flywheel back on to to um to get the um crankshaft onto the bearing so i had to drag it on so and i did so and now it's it's there you know and it looks pretty good however the snag is there's a piece missing and i'm not really sure if it was actually there when i pulled the thing off let me show you see in order to get the clutch here to to um not just spin around you know there is a locking pin right here the key as we call it right there see that's a line and has to be a key in here to lock these things together right yeah and and i can't remember if i actually took one out when dismantling this thing because because everything is in, in its right boxes this is for the clutch and that is for the flywheel and blah 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 and when i look it over here i don't see anything you know, there's nothing here, which indicates to me that perhaps that key was never there. That, of course, again, could explain why this, this wouldn't drive or wouldn't, wouldn't run or go or whatever. And uh, there might be more issues than just the engine with this. It might also have been a clutch and transmission error, but who knows? I mean... There's only one way to find out, and this, this is, I gotta order a new locking pin here, or a key. And when that comes in, let's do the second video uh, of the, um, of the, uh, of the assembly. Um, well, let's, let's see, um, did it do anything special to it? No, not really. I mean, it's, I had difficulties in getting this axle in, into the right place in the, uh, in the bottom. It's got a needle, needle bearing down there. And, and now it's there and it moves freely and then the uh and the engine's in there but i do feel a, i won't say a lot of resistance but i do feel resistance so i don't know if it's too much but uh, 
I don't know. We'll find out. So for now, I'm just going to say, okay, thank you for watching so far. And let's continue on um, episode two when I get this thing in so we can get the lid here with the uh, with the oil pump back on and the, and the rear axle or the differential here and uh, put some oil in this thing and let's see if let's see what let's see how it goes and of course the cylinder and the flywheel yeah right so yeah thank you for watching Oh, and uh, I see that we got some friends from uh, Iran, Iraq, and uh, whatever, and Salam Aleikum. It's nice to see you guys here. Um, if you got any pointers on this thing, <laughs> please let me know, because I'm starting to hate this. Anyway, episode two coming up in a few weeks. See you then.